Conquer is a much beloved property that has a huge following. We worked with Rare and came up with the idea of using young Conquer. So the first time Conquer walks across the couch and he starts bouncing. Wait a minute, how do you know that's a couch? Young Conquer is basically a platformer, which happens in your room. You could be in a big room or a small room or a crowded room or a completely empty space. The game has to adapt. Every single animation is related to the context. For example, if Conquer is close to an edge, he will play a vertigo animation. Seeing these holographic elements and characters added to your world on things that are familiar to you, like your couch, your table, that is going to be the thing that blows many people away. Oh, when there's not a lot of floor space, Conquer runs on the wall more. It's just that ability to adapt, and suddenly you're realizing, oh, I'm making you know tactical choices based on the shape of this room. And if I move that table, or I just look at it from a different direction, those tactics change. Oh, heck! I think the idea that this isn't sort of a walled-off or standalone device, this is a Windows 10 device. So any advantages that a developer gets on the Windows 10 platform also exist on HoloLens. Making a HoloLens application, it's a really fantastic opportunity. You have all of these awesome APIs and all of this great information that HoloLens gives you. Spatial mapping is a novel feature of HoloLens. The HoloLens application essentially feels around that world and identifies the objects in that world through pattern matching. The challenge is what do you do with this variety of world that you're scanning? It's an opportunity to apply a game to your world that is going to be different from room to room, from environment to environment, and I think that's just very fresh. Working with Asoba Studio gave us this opportunity to learn and know what real developers out in the world are going to need to make awesome holographic experiences. What excites me the most is what people will do with this technology, what they will build. That's where all the real surprises are, are, are going to come from.